hello so i am newbie and queen yolanda i am just here just to stop by just for a few moments just to encourage you queens out there all of you queens that hold your head up right all you queens that lift your head up and you posture yourself like the woman that you are and and let me tell you this it's not about what you look like on the outside it's how you feel about yourself on the inside. Have you ever seen a queen or a beautiful woman that you know got it all together and then you see her with her hair done up, face did up, body look right, perfect skin, but she got the nastiest attitude? Yes, a queen knows who she is. A queen will encourage, lift up other women, confidently compliment them assure them that they can do anything and achieve anything in life that's what a queen does a queen is you know how they like to refer to a, a, a diva well a queen is just like that someone who knows where she's going knows who she is what she's capable of doing what she brings to the table that's what a queen is she's confident sure of herself don't look for a pat on her back. Do not mind stepping outside the box. Do not mind being different from everybody else. Do not mind standing outside the crowd. Matter of fact, a queen will, no matter what, what place she go in, workplace, an event, church, home, gatherings, it doesn't matter. A queen is going to stand out. You want to know a queen when you see her. And not that she does things uh, different to grab attention. It's just going to be things about her posture, how she carry herself, how she hold herself up, how she entertain people, keep conversations going, how she just flow. That's what a queen does. And let me tell you, that has nothing to do with what she wears. Doesn't have, have anything to do with her outer uh, exterior, the clothes that she's wearing it has everything to do with what she brings on the inside. It's the aura that she brings when she's dealing with people. And our queen loves to encourage and inspire. So when we're talking about new being queen, this is a movement here. We're talking about new being queen that we are new beings in Christ. And we're talking about whenever you look at a new being, they are forever changing, forever growing, forever evolving. And that's what you're going to get when you're dealing with a new being queen. Okay, that's what you're going to get when you're dealing with somebody who's a new being in Christ. Old things are passed away and behold, all things have become new. So I just wanted to step, stop by and encourage you all today and just let you know that here's a new movement that's coming before you. And talking about queens. And one of the things I wanted to discuss today is the topic of not dubbing down yourself, not putting yourself down or selling yourself short to make other people feel comfortable around you. You know, oftentimes when we're around people who are not on a certain caliber or they're not quite ready for us or maybe the real us about or the one or the us that we really are. Sometimes we play ourselves short and play ourselves down to make other people comfortable around us. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll, we'll, we'll act as if we don't know certain things or we don't do certain things because we don't want them to feel um, and, um, insecure or we don't want them to think that we know it all so that they won't help us or be there, be our friend. But actually, a real person who's really wanted to learn and wanted things to grow and want, and want people around them in their circle, um, they should want people who are on a different level than they are or someone who's definitely more intelligent or smarter than they are. Or if not that, people that know more than they do. People that have contacts. People that, that knows how to um, talk to other people that have great influence. People should want people on another level around them. You should never want the same people in your midst who are not on your level. I'm just saying. You should want people who are smarter than you, more intelligent than you, more computer savvy, more phone savvy. People that are good around crowds of people. People that know how to get money, know how to hustle, know how to make things shake, ride, and roll. Those are the kind of people that you should want in your midst. You should not be afraid to be yourself and be who God called you to be. 
fix yourself up, do your hair, wear certain clothes. You should not try to fit in the crowd because you get into a crowd of a group of, especially women, I'm just going to be honest. Get in front of a crowd of women and then you feel like, oh, because they don't wear these certain clothes, I'm not going to wear it. Well, guess what? Why, did, why you just can't break that trend? Why can't you stop being your own and let them follow you? Because a lot of times we'll try to follow people because we see them dressing a certain way and we don't want to uh, rock the boat. So therefore we'll try to we'll conform to their way of doing things, their way of dressing, how they act and conduct themselves. But if, if you just be yourself, be your own, unique, authentic self, People will gravitate to that because people love people who are real. When you dub down yourself, you're not being the real person who God created you to be. You're not being that real, authentic, genuine individual. You're being a fake, a fraud, and a phony. Yes, I said it. You're being a fake, a fraud, and a phony. You don't want to be something that you're not around other people. You want to be the best you that you can be. You want to be the best person that you can be um, to help other people become better. You know, when you can be yourself, when you be your own individual self, it gives other people permission to be themselves. It gives them permission to shine. It gives them permission to want to grow, to be happy. And there, there's nothing in this world like being yourself. There's nothing in this world like being the individual who God created you to be. And the reason why you're standing out amongst the crowd is because something is different about you. It is something about you that gets people's attention. And you're saying, I really don't like people. I don't like women. I don't like men. I don't like crowds of people. But it's something about you that makes people want to be around you. Maybe you are created on this earth to help somebody to be their own authentic self. Maybe you can deal with people on a one-on-one -on -one basis to help them to become a better them. To, to not necessarily to, to try to stand out amongst the crowd. Anytime that you're being yourself, you're going to stand out amongst the crowd. That's just, that's just being real. You know, and there's certain people that really stand out among the crowd. You know, when you want to grow, you want to evolve to be the better you that you can be. You're going to stand out. Because the, the best you, the 2.0 you, the next version of yourself is going to stand out. I mean, it, things about you are going to be different. People are going to look at you differently. You'll know when you have changed, you have become the real you. Because people are going to say you're not who you used to be. Or they're going to say, when I remember when you were younger, you were this certain way. And then you changed when you started going to church and being around people and everything like that. And so when they see you become, they see you get back to your old self or back to who they knew you were to be. But you were on a different, more educated level or a, a level that you were more knowledgeable about yourself and and you start to flow, you know, people are going to notice that. Family, friends, people who are close to you are going to see that changing you. And they're going to love that part of you. Some will love it and some won't. I'm telling you now. Some people are going to not want to be around you because they're gonna, they, don't, they don't want you to change because they are afraid you're going to leave them. They're afraid that you're going to change and be this whole totally different person. But you're saying, no, 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 no. This is who I, I am. I've always been this person. But I just didn't do it because I didn't know what other people's going to think. And that's another thing. We dub that ourselves so much because we don't want other people to be uncomfortable around us. We don't want them to start judging us or looking at us funny or different. But when you dub down yourself, you dub down who you are, your character, your personality, the way you think, the way you feel. You uh, and, and when you dub down yourself too, some things you don't even comment on. Some things you won't even say because you don't want to offend anyone, hurt their feelings. You're really trying to be a people pleaser when you dub down yourself. I'm just being honest, putting it out there. You're really trying to make other people comfortable and like you. You're really trying to make them like the person who you are not. You're really not that person. So I'm just here to encourage you today. Be the best person that you can be. The best version of yourself. And once you evolve into that person, you'll be, you'll be surprised what you realize that you would love doing. You will, When you start being yourself, you begin to see 
yourself flowing in areas that you never thought you'd be able to flow in. You never thought that you'd be doing things that you you just what you see other people doing. You say, well, I wish I can do that. When you become the um a, a person who you found yourself and you become who you have been created to be, the things that you thought you were not able to do or never thought was possible that you could do it or um, never imagined doing it, you start finding yourself doing those things. And the people that you say, oh, you're bold, you're brave, you're courageous to do the things that you're doing. I can never do that. Yes, you can. When you start tapping into the real you, the tapping into the part of you who God created you to be, you will find yourself doing things you never thought you were able to do or could have possibly been able to do. You will catch yourself doing things outside the realm, outside of who you thought you were. You would find yourself doing things that you never thought was possible, things that you never imagined yourself being able to do. This is what happens when you tap into who you are. When you tap into the individual who God created you to be, you begin to do things that you never thought you were able to do in your entire life. When you stop trying to be a people pleaser, when you stop dubbing down who you are to make people comfortable around you, then you can grow into that person who God called you to be. You find yourself doing the unimaginable, the unthinkable. God can use you in ways that you never thought possible. And you will attract a different type of people too. I'm telling you, when you begin to change Things how people used to do things and how you used to flow and those old ways. I'm telling you, people who don't want to change, you gonna, they're going to get on your nerves. They're not going to be around you because you're going to start making them feel uncomfortable because they're used to that, oh, you dubbing down yourself. And now they feel like, oh, you think you're better than me. No, I have just changed and evolved to the person who God created me to be. And I'm much happier. I'm better. I'm pleasant. Can't you tell I'm happier? And then you're going to find yourself, you, you realize who your friends are. Either they're going to come up to your level or they're going to try to drag you down to theirs. One or the other. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's how come we always have to be very mindful who our friends are too. But you'll find out who they are once you tap into who you are. I just wanted to stop by to encourage you queens out there. Never dub down yourself or be a people pleaser to make other people happy. Never try to dub down yourself to make people comfortable around you. Be who you are and who God called you to be. Now, am I saying that you can't make any changes? I am telling you. Even when you tap into who you are and you step outside of the box and you become this better individual, there will be things about you that will change. You'll probably start grooming yourself differently, dressing differently, walking different, acting different, talking different. I mean... All the way down to your hair, your makeup, the way you speak. I mean, things about you will begin to change. You will see yourself evolving. Because one thing about a queen, a new being queen, is always growing, always evolving, always looking for ways to improve, to advance, to make things better. You know, you never want to stay at a, at a standstill and always want to stay at a certain level. There's always greater levels, greater dimensions, other areas to grow and improve in. And you find yourself realizing that too. When you say, well, oh my goodness, I wish I would have known that back then when I was 20 years old, what I know now. That's an indication that you have grown. That's an indication that, you know, there's levels to this thing when you're finding out who God have called you to be and God, who God have created you to be. You know, I, I'm not just, you know, I don't want to seem like I'm this super religious individual. But when I'm talking, I can't help but to talk about God and the goodness of God and what he's done for me and where I come from, okay? So don't, don't think I'm this super religious individual that is just going to be preaching to you all the time. But I'm going to be talking about God quite often because... Because I know where I come from. He's called me and created me to be the queen that I am. And I'm going to stand in it. And I want every queen that's out there. Whether black, white, purple, orange. It doesn't make any difference to me. You know who God called you to be. But by the time it's all said. We're going to grow together. We're going to evolve together. We're going to advance together. But remember this. Do not dub down yourself. To make other people comfortable around you. Do not sell yourself short to make people comfortable around you. Okay? Be who God called you to be. Advance and go to be that queen that you are. 
I love you, queens. Take care of yourself. God bless you. And we will talk next clip. Amen. I would like for you to, 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 to subscribe to this video. Mash the button, the bell button there. Share this video. Like, share, and subscribe. And hit that bell button, okay? I'll talk to you later, queens. Be blessed. And we'll talk soon. Mm.